Okay, so have you ever, like, been in a meeting and wished you could just, I don't know, hit rewind? Or, like, listening to a podcast and you want to jot down notes, but it's just too much. My notes app, it's it's a disaster zone. So when I started seeing Plod Note everywhere online, promising to be like the AI thing for capturing information, had to check it out, right? We're talking sleek hardware, phone call recording, AI transcription, summarization, the whole shebang. But, you know, is it actually going to like revolutionize things or is this just marketing hype? I've got piles of Plod Note reviews here, tech articles, their whole website, all that jazz. And to help us figure this out, we've got an expert spanning by. Well, let me tell you, the tech world is definitely paying attention, and for good reason. I mean, imagine just getting all the key insights from any meeting, any lecture, even a phone call, without having to actually, you know, do anything. Yeah. That's the dream, right? And that's what Plod Note is going for. Okay, yeah, I'm listening. So let's start with the Plod Note itself. Seems like they really went all out on the whole design and functionality front. Oh, absolutely. They're claiming 30 hours of recording nonstop okay. and the standby time, 60 days. You can basically just leave it on. And the storage, insane. Like you could record two hours every day for almost a year before it even gets close to full. Whoa. Okay. They weren't messing around with that whole all day recorder thing, but everyone keeps mentioning this dual mode recording. What's so special about it? It's actually pretty smart. See, a lot of people need to record phone calls for work, right? Totally. <laughs> and it's always a pain. But Plod Note, it comes with this magnetic case that sticks right to your phone. Like those magnetic wallet things? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but instead of just holding your credit cards, it lets Plod Note record your calls. Super clear audio. No more holding your phone up to a separate recorder, like awkwardly during a meeting. That's genius. For anyone who's on calls all day, that's huge. Client meetings, interviews, brainstorming. But okay, let's talk about the AI stuff. Because PeopleID.ai is making some big claims about this chat GPT power transcription and summarization. They're even using, what is it, GPT-40 and Claude 3.5, the newest ones, right? Yeah, those are the engines behind it all. And yeah, those newer models are way more accurate. They can handle different accents, background noise, all sorts of things that used to throw off the older AI. So the transcription should be really smooth, really accurate. So like instead of having to actually listen and take notes, you just... Let the AI do it, and it actually gets it right. That's the goal, yeah. But it's, you know, it's more nuanced than just getting a transcript. Because who wants to read through, like, pages and pages of meeting notes? Not me. Exactly. Plot note. It takes all that, and then the AI pulls out the important stuff. You know, like, key takeaways, actions, items, decisions. Yeah. Even follow-up questions. Oh, wow. Okay. And the cool part is they have these templates. So you can customize it to, like, what you need from a meeting. Okay, now that's interesting. I'm starting to see how this could actually be helpful. But, I mean, does it actually work? Yeah. Like, in the real world? Well, PLIU.ai talks about the obvious stuff, yeah. right? Meetings, lectures, interviews. But we dug into the user reviews, and it seems like people are using it for all sorts of things. Oh, yeah. Like, what? Well, there was this one reviewer, Michael Soledad, I think. He was saying how useful it would be for, like, anyone who needs to remember important info fast. Doctors, lawyers, even journalists, you know. Oh, yeah, I could see that. Totally. And then there was this other person, username Mifter Yuhu, who was using it for everything. Meeting notes, but also, like, diary entries. Hmm. And they said the summaries helped them, you know, cut through the clutter and see what was actually important. Man, I need that. Just, like, a way to focus on what matters. Right. And then, oh, this was cool. A Japanese reviewer, Nikka Style, I think was the username, was blown away by the audio quality. It could record up to 1,536 kilobps. piece. Which is good. Really good. Yeah. Like super high quality, yeah. which is important because if the recording is bad, the AI can't really do its thing. True, true. Okay, but this whole AI thing, I mean, what about privacy? All our conversations being recorded? That's a good point. It's something to think about for sure. <laughs> we did check out PLAU.AI's privacy stuff, and they seem to be taking it seriously. Strong encryption, everything's handled through Google Cloud. Okay, so that's that's good. Yeah, and you can delete your data if you want to. Mm. But it does, you know, brings up a, a bigger question for everyone listening. How comfortable are you with, like, a, a third-party AI having all your audio data, even with the security and all that? Yeah, that's, I don't know, it's a tough one. But, okay, practical question. How much does this thing cost? Because huh. it can't be cheap, right? So well, how much are we talking? What's the damage to my wallet if I want in on this Pilard Note action? Plug Note is going for $159. Okay, so not like an impulse buy, more like a considered purchase. Yeah. But is it, you know, worth it? That's always the question, right? You're getting yeah. the hardware, which, like we said, amazing battery, tons of storage. Plus, you get that magnetic case, which is handy. And then the whole 
AI side of things. Can't forget about that. Transcription summarizations, all powered by those like supercharged AI models. Exactly. Think about it. A good voice recorder alone can cost you a pretty penny. <laughs> then, if you want transcripts, you're paying for a service probably monthly. Yeah. Blog notes just doing it all in one shot. Plus, the AI is not just transcribing. It's actually, you know, understanding the content. Yeah, that's true. It's like they really thought of everything, the design, the features. You know, it's more than just the plot note itself, right? It's like this whole glimpse into the future, how we're all going to be using AI and stuff. Totally. I mean, these tools, they're only getting smarter. It could completely change how we learn, how we work, how we just experience information in general. It's kind of wild when you think about it, like having an extra brain helping you cut through all the noise and just get to the good stuff. So I guess the takeaway is, plea it note, it's not just hype. It's actually a really cool tool. And who knows, maybe it will change how we deal with information overload. Big question is, what are you going to do with this tech? Is it going to be your new best friend or are you going to, you know, proceed with caution? Either way, mm -hmm. it's something we'd all need to be thinking about. This whole AI thing its not going away. Nope, it's here to stay. Well, that's about all the time we have for today's deep dive. Thanks for exploring the world of Prillard Note with us. And until next time, stay curious out there.